Um, yeah, obviously, I wanted to get that taste out of our mouths for sure. Um, but yeah, started fast because the guys were just locked in. You know, we came out kind of hair on fire mentality. Everybody was locked into what the plan was, and so that's why we executed that quickly. But that needs to be, you know, the case every week. And so once our guys see that standard of how we start fast, now you know, there's still a lot left. Um, definitely had a little bit of a lull there towards the end of the second quarter, but uh, that's how we need to start, especially, you know, knowing this, this team game that we have that our defense can kind of get after a little bit if we start fast on offense. How, ex- how important was it for you guys to get that two steps on the opening drive? So I mean, yes, it's yeah, last year. I think uh, we didn't have one last year, I don't think. Um, so it's going back to before I was here when they got a first drive touchdown. So that's, that's huge. And uh, just execution. Guys, like I said, the guys being locked into the plan, knowing exactly the looks that we're going to get, um, and just doing their jobs. So when Shepard was on there from the practice squad, and you connected with him a few times today for the big games. How much fun was it to find that connection again in the NFL level? Uh, it's fun. You know, he's uh, he's got a couple screws loose in the head. Um, it's, it's fun just to have his energy in the huddle. Um, somebody that he's played a lot of ball, um, obviously stepped up in a big way, uh, and, and so did so did Cam. And obviously with, with Trey hurting himself, those guys stepped up in a huge way. So, um, yeah, proud of those guys, especially Shep. Now, will he say the same about you? Oh, probably. Probably. That's how our relationship is. Big third quarter, they, they had the long Barkley run. They get back and kind of yep. lose it. How big was it for the offense to be able to answer and go down the field and get a touchdown? Yeah, that, that was a that was a big drive too. You know, stopping the moment, momentum that they had. Um, you know, keeping the lead what it was uh, for us to go back out there and execute. And you know, I like can't say enough about the whole team. It, that was one of the hotter games I've ever played in. And just for everybody to be locked in that much, a uh, few penalties here and there, but uh, for the most part, really, really dialed in. And uh, yeah, to answer like that's huge. The ball seemed to be coming out really quick uh, from the jump. Just what were you seeing that was allowing that to happen? Um. Just the way we game planned it, um, you know, Liam, Liam was calling the stuff that was working, and so they're not going to cover some of these short intermediate throws, need to keep taking it. Uh, I say it every week, defense dictates where the ball needs to go, and today, that early on, that was short, so I uh, just need to take advantage of it. Baker, you were talking about the heat. Uh, is this really one of those games where Tampa Bay had the home field advantage? You guys practice in this, training camp in this. Yeah, besides, it- all the, besides all the Eagles fans that you saw out there, yeah, it was home field advantage with weather-wise. The Fox camera showed you and Tom talking pregame on the field. I don't know if you're able to share anything from that exchange. I know that there was some comments you had made uh, on a podcast uh, about uh, about a, a stressful situation that he may have created in Tampa. But uh, yeah, I, mean, I think a lot of that got taken out of context. Um, it, none of it was personal um, by any means. It's just. Uh, you know what he demanded of the guys, and that's that's the aura of Tom Brady, and that's what he did to bring a championship here. And so, nothing personal, but uh, yeah, talking before the game, he's obviously happy for me, um, and, and he, he knows the guys, so he, he knows how much uh, I enjoy throwing to Mike and Chris because he got to do the same. Uh, and so, it, it's fun to be able to, you know, talk about the same experiences with a guy like that. We, saw, we heard his competitive fire a little bit too on, on the broadcast when he said, "Well, you know, this wasn't a daycare." <laughs> yeah, no. And I mean, like I said, uh, you know, a lot of things got taken out of context. He did it his own way, and that's why he has seven rings. So, yeah, not, not much else needs to be said. Baker, you had a big scramble on, I think it was on a third down. Is that something you would be more intentional about using your legs in this situation? Um, yeah, trying to spit the ball out when I can, but uh, just the rush pattern they had spiked inside, so I was able to get on the edge. I had Mike coming across. I think Slay was holding him a little bit, but um, yeah, just really trying to deliver the ball to Mike. But if not, then there's a, a clear lane for me to go. Baker, you had 20 guys end up on the injury report this week. What is the way you guys responded say about this team? Next man up mentality. Um, it, it just like I said, a lot of guys stepped up, especially offensively, uh, and then still having guys on defense that are out. So everybody knowing their job, executing the plan well, and playing a team game. Baker, you're part of history today. You threw a touchdown pass to Mike Evans, making him the franchise's all-time leading scorer, surpassing wow. Martin Grammatic. That's big time for Mike. It's huge. Accomplish all these points all these years. I mean, it's sometimes we take it for granted of you know the career that Mike has had and continues to have. Um, it's he's a Hall of Famer, no doubt. So that, that's a that's a huge honor for him, and the fact that we get to play with him is. Um, it's pretty special, so don't take it for granted. But that's why we, you know, try to get him started earlier today, uh, get him going, get get one of our best players the ball early on, so he, he catches fire. So he, he did that, and special player. Baker, how did this team reset after last week? Because you know, not just yourself, but just like everybody's seen way more dialed in, starting fast, all those things yeah. you talked about. Um, taking ownership of what we put on tape last week. 
you know, like I said, that's that wasn't the Buck brand of football. What, what we put on tape last week. So owning it, correcting it, and, and uh, you know, making making the things translating from practice and the mentality that we needed to correct there and translating it to game day. So everybody owned it, and that, that's an accountable team. And uh, proud of them. Do you have a much better practice, and not just you, but the team this week as opposed to last week? Um, I wouldn't say that. I, I just say that the intensity was was matched from practice to game day. Uh, just knowing that can't take a Sunday for granted. I know the short game was, was super physical, and maybe maybe there was a little hangover. This game was very physical and hot. Mm -hmm. You got a game in four days. How did you reset physically, mentally, all that? Guys, uh, guys have to be pros when it comes to uh, taking care of your body. You, you got to obviously short weeks. Everybody's got to deal with it. There's no excuse. You got to got to do all the rehab you can. Uh, it's more so studying and understanding the game plan without getting the live reps because uh, you're trying to rest your body. And so, for us, get physically as uh, healthy as we can, and then be dialed in the plan just like we were today. What were the last few days like for you? Because last time we talked to you, you were getting ready for the storm, and I believe you do live in an evacuation zone. Yep, you live on the water, out. and you've got a wife, and you've got a baby girl at home, and like just trying to prepare for a game, but also preparing for that, and then having to yeah. recover after. Um, yeah, not ideal by any means, but uh, the safety of your family and everybody else is way more important. Um, so, but the Bucks do an unbelievable job of providing everything you need to, you know, stay safe. Uh, unfortunate that you know the storm surge was as bad as it was, but um, hopefully everybody did the smart thing and evacuated if they needed to. Uh, but yeah, they provided you know a hotel for us to get out of there uh, to where we were able to continue the work week. And it's just one of those things of you know finding the balance of life and football um, distractions and whatnot. For, obviously, that's a pretty big one, but being able to make sure we're taken care of and then go back to work. Was it like a little closer quarters studying film with the baby and Emily right on top of you there? Or? Yeah, yeah, definitely um, dark hotel room with a laptop on. It's not, uh, it's not a very fun place to be when you when you got to be quiet. So it is what it is. Okay, one more, please. So Atlanta has won at this moment. So what do you expect from them, especially at defensive? Or Atlanta's defense? For Atlanta? Um, you know, knowing knowing their head coach from being out in LA, knowing um, their DC, Jimmy Lake, um, just expecting them to be versatile, especially with the guys they have. Uh, they got they got great players, so got a couple of good safeties out there. I'm sure. Really haven't watched any of their film, but I'm sure they're able to do a lot of different stuff with those guys. Uh, so we got to be ready to execute the plan, whatever it is, and go from there.